What's up, mother truckers? We back again with another video with your boy, Internet Lex. Uh, today, we are reviewing not one burger, but two burgers. So I'm really excited for this one. Uh, the restaurant we are reviewing, or burger bar, whatever you want to call it, is Mr. G. Uh, hopefully, I did that justice. Uh, I think Mr. G is also running Happy Ending Burgers, so I'm expecting big things popping uh, with these burgers and the associated menu. So uh, the burgers I've chosen are the Stoner's Revenge, and the other one I've chosen is the Cheese. Uh, what is it called? Cheese Boogie. So yeah, man, I'm I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty keen to just uh, start tasting them and uh giving you guys what you want which is the god dang rating you want me to shut the hell up eat the food and tell you if it's good or not so let's just do that but first let me tell you why i do this i'm trying to support local restaurants i'm trying to get you guys to uh order online or drive there or whatever man just go out and um buy local um and uh support the local people of this bloody city town country whatever you want to call it um because it's the right damn thing to do right so anyway that's my five cents i'm gonna shut up now and uh we're gonna jump into some uh overview pictures of the food uh very shortly and before that i'm gonna show you what mr g actually looks like and damn it's busy lots of people lining up lots of people getting the food uh so it's got to be good right it's got to be good it's got to be good but we're gonna find out in just a minute so let's get into it boom dudes we got the food sitting right here in front of me um as you can see we got a nice little platter going on here uh not the healthiest platter but you know what you gotta have a cheat day you gotta have days where you refill your body and if you would like to know more about that don't ask me because i'm not an expert okay uh that's just the honest truth anyway to the left of me here uh which might be your right not sure i don't really know but uh this is the cheese boogie so the cheese boogie uh the reason i have my phone in my hand is to just read you what the hell's in that burger um is 
smashed grass-fed beef patty with American cheese, caramelized onions, and dill pickles with a special sauce. Jesus, look at that. It just looks so good. Looks cheese emollient. Um, is yeah. Well, anyway, that's the description. Uh, in the midsection here, which I didn't let you guys know in the uh, little intro, if you will, uh, is Bacon Boy Fries. So, everybody, give it up for the Bacon Boy Fries. Here they are. Welcome to the show, Bacon Boy Fries. You're welcome. Uh, and then to the far right, we have the Stoner's Revenge. The Stoner's Revenge consists of a smashed, smashed is it? Oh yeah, get it right. Smashed grass-fed beef patty with American cheese, streaky bacon, dill pickles, pickled onions, salt, and vinegar chips. And the almighty, legendary Stoner sauce. Note, it contains peanuts. So if you're a fucking pussy. I'm joking. Um, if you have peanut allergies, probably don't eat, uh, eat this anyway. Looks bloody good, mate. <clears throat> Looks good. Looks good. I'm liking it. I'm loving it. Uh, we're gonna get into this review. Hot damn diggity, real quick, real freaking quick. So let's jump into doing the cheese boogie first. I think this is uh. This is the way to go. Let's go left to right today. So, cheese boogie. Here we go, guys. Actually, I like I like the tin foil uh, wrapping here. Smells great, by the way. The bread is uh, super fresh. We got a we got a nice little brioche glow, if you will, because uh, you're worth it, you know. At the end of the day, so why not indulge? Some cheese in there, cheese sauce, pickles, etc. Let's go. Tell you what, it's pretty good. It's pretty dang good. You know how we do. We want it. We want it. We want to bite into everything, and then we'll come back around and we'll do a full circle. But just a real quick note on this one: the onions are freaking awesome. They go really well with this. Uh, the beef patty is super fresh. And a cheese sauce as well. I mean, it gives you some kind of, I don't know, it's like an epic uh, flavor explosion, you know? Um, high quality ingredients, I can tell. Full show. All right, people, mother truckers. Next up is the Stoner's Revenge. So just as a little recap, we've got bacon, we've got cheese, we've got salt and vinegar chips in there, mate, you know? If you, have you ever heard of that? Salt and vinegar chips in a burger? Because I haven't, but I'd probably, I'd probably do it anyway. Like if I wanted to come up with some crazy contraption concept idea to make a burger. What the hell? Chips are, are definitely uh, one way you could do that. Oh man, this looks so bloody good. So guys, this is the Stoner's Revenge. Uh... It just smells so good. I can't wait to taste test it. Um, as always, brioche bun, bacon, streaky bacon, uh, grass-fed patty in there, the cheese, the etc. The special stoner sauce. Let's give it a go. Ready, three, two, one.
It's kind of like a thing that I don't know what the flavor is. Um, that's super interesting because um, you kind of get the beef patty taste, right? And then and then what happens is you bite into the salt and vinegar chips with the cheese, and it's kind of like this bittersweet flavor almost. But um. I don't know. It's nothing I've ever tasted before, to be honest. It's nothing I've ever tasted before. Is it good? It is good. Definitely. Full show. Uh, we'll give these chips a little try as well, shall we? While we're at it. There we go. The uh, Bacon Boy fries. Dude, pretty good, pretty good, man, pretty good. I like it. Uh, do I think it's better than the happy ending fried chicken burger? Nah, I don't know. I'm a bit of a chicken guy, you know. I, li I like my chicken burgers and chicken in general, so um kind of biased in that sense on a beef burger ratio i'd say these are right up there 100 100 if you're looking for something that is unique and who's not right people want people want different shit all the time sorry people want different stuff all the time they, they, they want you know something that they've never tried before right they, they want something to fill the void here you go if you're looking for something a bit different right an alternative shall we say you know a little bit of a spanner in the works this is your uh this is your go-to mr g well done well done brother you've really uh you've really outdone yourself one thousand percent you've outdone yourself so i don't know what else you want me to tell you uh, I guess you want a rating, right? Okay, let's do that. Let's start with the cheese boogie. Here it is, once again. Cheese boogie. Boog on the cheese, cheese on the boog. Excuse me. Uh, I would rate this one a 8 out of 10. An 8 out of 10 for the cheese boog. Cheese boogie. Right, sorry, I've got the names right. Um... Flavor was great, meat was fresh, ingredients very well prepared uh, and put together in a bun. Uh, critiques, what could I say? I don't know. I feel like tomato sauce would be great in this. I don't know why. Like a tomato or maybe a barbecue sauce? Maybe that's a spinoff we could talk about later? Let's talk about it, man. I mean, it's up to you guys. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not, you know. Anyway, uh, tomato sauce, barbecue sauce. If you will. If you won't. That's all G. And the next one we got here is the Stoner's Revenge. Okay. Stoner's Revenge. Ja, ja, ja. Golden vinegar chips. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy, man. But I dig it. It's kind of good. Uh, streaky bacon in there with the sauce. Again throw another spanner in the works barbecue sauce anyone well, what about this what about this crazy idea steak sauce all right we put steak sauce in it and we mix it in with the special sauce right right you with me and um yeah i think that's gonna pump it up um i'm almost tempted to go to my fridge right now and put some in and taste it and see if it's gonna give it that little tang Chang Lang Dang. Maybe not. Yeah. Stoner's Revenge. I'm giving this one as it is, as it is prepared, standard stock, off the shelf. A 8.5 out of 10. 
I think it's good. It is good. I'll probably like the Stoner's Revenge over the Cheese Boogie. Obviously, Cheese Boogie is just like a plain type of burger, you know, but still prepared by the same people. Um, same ingredients, same great ingredients, by the way. Um, but I think the bacon and the addition of maybe... I think I like the bloody salt and vinegar chips in there. It's so strange to say that because, uh, I mean, who doesn't like a good chip? Who doesn't like a good chip, bro? You know, you're going to chip, bro? Um, there it is. It's in your burger. Next... You know, it's going to be on your pizza, it's going to be in your bloody salad, mate, it's going to be in your freaking, you know, your falafel wrap, whatever, it's up to you. Um, so 8.5, so 8 for the cheese boogie, 8.5 for the um, uh, Stoner's Revenge, and the Bacon Boy fries were good as well, so, you know, what do you want from me, bro? Everybody, go out and Google Mr. G uh burgers i think that's what it's called let me just double check uh the full name of the shop is mr g burger truck go and go and uh, look them up i think they might have a couple of sites across uh the city so if you're keen to get a decent burger go and look these guys up very unique very bespoke burgers um but i love that i, lo I love that uh, creativity and i love the way that you know you guys have sort of gone out of your way to make something different um, compared to what you would get, you know, just at your local or whatever, you know, so awesome work, awesome work, um, Google them guys, go and get a burger, go and buy and support your local restaurants, um, right now, guys, this is in an Netflix, and I'm telling you to stay safe and Google Mr. G and check out their stuff because it's awesome. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, please Google me, YouTube, Internet Legs, click the link, follow through to my channel and watch some of my other videos that I've got here, such as my review of Happy Endings, uh, The Villain Burger, which is the best dang chicken burger you've ever laid eyes or your tongue on, ever. Trust me when I say that, by the way. Until next time, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!